Got him. Oh my god. What up, gang? Good morning. Just rolled up to Highland Park area, 6.50 in the morning. I'm actually going to be fishing with John today, but I arrived here so early because I just assumed it was going to take me a long time to get here. The sun has just risen, so what I'm going to do is throw the buzz bait for half a second if I can't get anything to hit on the top water. Otherwise, I'll just kind of hang out, do a little editing, clear some SD cards, and wait for him until we start throwing some other things. But uh, yeah, we are here. It's a beautiful morning too, I'll tell you that much. Like 70 degrees. Oh, one's chasing it. With the buzz bait, usually you won't get as many strikes back to back. And if you do, it would be like this, like the next cast afterwards. So I'm thinking this guy's gonna be hard to get. Prime time to throw this buzz bait is right during the sunrise or right at sunset, unless you have maybe some crazy storm rolling in and it's cloudy throughout the day, overcast. Uh, that's the only time I really get away with it, maybe during the middle of the day. Oh my gosh. I'm literally at the end of the spool. I forgot. I don't have any line on this thing, basically. There we go. Okay, so no more long casts with this, because if I get a big fish, it'll, it's definitely going to slip. Got one. I was going to say there's a rock right there. Oh, oh no. I was going to say, guys, there's a rock right here. It looked perfect. Oh, my gosh. He didn't even burst up at it. He just sucked it under. That was cool. I had a feeling I would get a hit right there because this is the shallowest I've seen it. It's almost like a sharp drop off on this wall, but I see a rock right here. That was a two and a half probably. It was bigger than just a flat two. Oh my gosh, lily pads. Something just swirled out here. Watch this. Where are they at? Okay, let's go put this buzz bait up. All right, guys, official intro time. So you know I've been casting line here for just a second, but John and Alex just showed up, and we we're about to uh, really get to it. I'm gonna bring out a couple more rigs. We're gonna get going with uh, a couple different setups. I got a chatter bait tied on, crank, the fluke, and the Texas rig. We're having a good old time. John's gonna be throwing a rat, a wake bait just under the surface. So he's gonna be throwing this big rat here in downtown. I think it's gonna be pretty killer. You guys should uh, be in for a treat today. We're in the middle of the Highland Park area. Nothing but fancy homes. Looks like the Ritz Carlton out here. I'm about to cast a line, you guys. You got the pink fluke on still. Dude, I've been getting bites. No, but I threw the uh, buzz bait when I first got here and had a couple blow-ups. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, I should have had one up. He came off. The first one just missed it. All right, I consolidated. I'm going one less. I, I only got two hands, y'all. I kind of want to hit this thing over here before we move. Problem is getting getting one on the hook. <laughs> you wanna hope it's not gonna be too fucking big. Got him. Yep, bro. <laughs> do I hop down on the rocks or do I pull him up? No, you gotta pull him up. Gotta pull him up? Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna join you. Natural bandito pulling through, you guys. Dude, this is not a bad one. It'll help you out. Uh, let me just get that line. Grab the line. Sauce. That's a good one. This is not bad at all. First fish of the morning, y'all, right below this uh, mini dam. This is ridiculous. Little two pounder spotted guy, natural yeah. bandito bug, Let's yo. See, literally just winch this fish <laughs> over the guardrail. Right on the sidewalks of downtown, boys and girls, we just up and over that guardrail right there. That was pretty funny, man. Solid two pounder, first cast on the natural bandito bug over at this spot right here. Let's get him back. 
I guess I'm gonna go drop them on this side because over here ain't gonna work. Catch them on that side, release them on this side. That's how we do it. Okay, I'm hyped. <laughs> that was legit. Dude, right off the bat, wasn't expecting that one. Gotta lift them up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, if it's a big one, we're gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop over this. <laughs> that was just right in the middle. I'm not gonna argue. Oh, there's a bass right below us. There's a pipe right here. That bass was hanging out near it. They might be punching up to the structure. I see a bass on a bed. Oh my God, I just got him. He's on the bed and he doesn't like the bandito bug. That was first cast. I don't have my polarized lenses on. Yo. Dude, I got one. Lo I got one locked on a bed right here. Grab the shades, and literally, there's like ten guys that passed me. I think they're just doing maintenance right now. They they don't care that we're out here. On a bed? Yeah, dude, on a bed right here. Like he he ate the bandito bug first cast, and I just missed the hook set. I'm gonna hang out over here. I'll hit you up when I'm done. Got him. Dang. Oh. Um. Got him. Got him. Heck yes. Oh man. Bandito bug done it again, y'all. Bed fish. Yes. Let's see what he weighs. Fishing these private golf course ponds, man. Fun, fun, fun for the whole family. Did I even bring the scale? Yeah. 2.18, so two and a quarter. Wonder if there's another one close by eyeballing this bed. I don't see him, so we'll just let him go right back on it. Third time's the charm, man. Hooked him on the third one. Let's get that release. Let's go. I'm gonna go see where John's at now. <laughs> All right, I've been walking for like 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find John over here. This looks like a John B type of spot. Yep. Grab another natural. If it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? You got a big one over here, didn't you? Yeah. I thought so. I came up on you when you were filming. When you don't have any hands free. This is probably slippery. No way. Damn, did they just walk this? Huh? The easy way, I guess. Well, is there like an easier route that way? Well, as long as as long as you don't fall here, where'd y'all get down at? Just right there. I, I looked at it and I was like. I, I assume that y'all came that, that way. Oh my god! A big old frog! <laughs> Alright, at least we can say we gave that six spot a try right there, man. That was pretty dope. John actually caught a fish in here. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out his channel. He might even have another one right now. I think I'm going to make a move down on a little bit further and see what we can't get. Oh 
Dude, it's a he's a he's a baby if I ever seen one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Okay. My apologies. I'm just gonna put you back. Right off the wall there. One, two. It's 18 to 35, 1.8. So I just always shoot it at 1.8, and it gives more blur than most of the guys shooting at 2.8, which is cool because I like the look, but see if I was shooting 120 frames a second, I think that's where it really matters for me. Yes, that's 120 true. is where I want to be shooting at 250th of a second, I assume. Yes. And that's just the, the way to go. And then the spot that I was talking about is just on the other side of the road. It kind of dips down. Yeah. My chatterbait just about went down there. Dude, I should cast a T-rig down there and see what hits. I think we can walk through here and fish that hole. That underground tunnel we were just fishing, it comes from this right here. We thought for sure we were gonna get a bite, but I think we're gonna try and catch some more fish, maybe off of beds right here on these banks, because we only walked one side. Now we're gonna try this side over here, see what we can put together. I've been slacking, I've caught three fish today. I think John's at like, dude, seven or eight. Got one. Oh, nice. Sweet. Throwing the jig with the crack and crawl. This is a finesse jig that I got in an MTB box. And then uh, crack and crawl right along with it. See if I can't get a little video right fast. Oh, well, he gone. He gonna flip right back on in there. There we go. Go on, buddy. Oh. oh, dude, so sick too, right in the tree, right in the bush. That was a big one, I would have been upset. Well guys, that may conclude today's fun fishing out here in urban Dallas with John B. And we did catch quite a few and had some fun, let me tell you what. The MVP of the day was definitely the bandito bug. Then we got the jig catch right there. Got the little guy on the lipless crank. We don't get out this way too often, so it's definitely fun to vary things up, come downtown, try some new things. Uh, I'm normally up north in like the Plano Frisco area, pond hopping all kinds of different spots. You've seen it on the channel. If not, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you can see the future videos we have. Perfecto, y'all. We're back at the whips loading up, heading out. Had a great day. We caught, uh, we caught 14 between the two of us. That sounds better. Between the two of us, John and I probably linked up with about 15. We'll just call three or four of them mine. And uh, he kicked butt, man. So, till the next one, we're gonna have to get a couple more on this channel. I'll see you guys then. Peace. <gasps>